Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Alex Thomas here back with another video for you guys. Today I'm going to do a different type of video today. I'm recording this on June 25th and that is the anniversary of the one and only Michael Jackson, the, the anniversary of his death. Uh, June 25th, 2009. I will never forget this day. Um, like I said, I remember the day when he was rushed to the hospital. I ran so fast to the TV to watch the ambulance go into uh, the hospital in Los Angeles. And when he, you know, he was pronounced dead. Um, yeah, I still remember it like today. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get to a different video. I'm going to give you, show you guys my Michael Jackson collection. Um, I got, you know, CDs, Blu-rays, DVDs, VHS, tape, and I got a book. So I wanted to show you guys everything that I have in my collection pertaining Michael Jackson. I seen they releasing, I don't know if this is real or not, but they released some Michael Jackson Funko Pops. If they are real, I will have to buy them. I have to go against my grain and buy these Funko Pops because I definitely want them. But yeah, enough for having you guys. Let's get into the video. If you guys enjoy videos like this, please hit that like button. Please subscribe for more. And let's get into this video, you guys. Let's get it. Let's go. Uh, I, I, also, I'm sorry for all the noise in the background. Uh, I'm currently washing clothes. So I'm sorry I can't stop that. But let's go ahead and get into this video. I wanted to get this video out as quick as possible. I wanted to record it as quick as possible. Um, I didn't want to forget about it. So let's go ahead and get into the first thing. And of course, that is CDs. Let's go ahead and get into the CDs, you guys. And they're out of order. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into these into order. Yeah, there we go. All right. Starting the first one, of course, it is off the wall. Yes, these CDs are a little banged up. I had these for a really long time, of course. Had to have Off The Wall, um, you know, very underrated album. Um, then, of course, we got Michael Jackson's Thriller. This is the 25th anniversary one. Um, I love this thing. Um, you know, I've had to have it. I had the original one with him, like, you know, laying on the side, but it got kind of damaged, so I had to rebuy it again. So, yeah, had of course, I have to have Michael Jackson's Thriller, my favorite album. And, of course, we got Michael Jackson's Bad album, um, where he started, you know, looking different, but... To me, same old Michael Jackson. Um, yeah, I love this album as well. This this album, like, literally is, is, you could play it from one to, you know, to the end. Like, most of his records ha are like that. Um, then we get into Dangerous, which for me, um, I love this album as well. But some of the songs I can skip, you know, uh, Can't Let Her Go Get Away or uh, She Drives Me Wild. Uh, why you want to trip on me those are those songs I could skip but he got songs like jam in the closet remember the time here the world black and white who is it given to me I will be there uh, keep the faith gone too soon dangerous like those are all bangers those are all straight bangers so of course had that dangerous album then we got history um, uh, past present future book one this also has like a like kind of a, a you know another cd where it's like all his songs on the first one all his hits and then the second album is the history album this album is also the same type of instance where it's most of these records are dope uh, you got scream you know they don't really care about a stranger in moscow earth song uh, you are not alone uh tabloid junkie that is a great song if you guys have not heard of that record tabloid junkie definitely check it out that's a great record as well and of course we got the final record and that is um, Invincible, um, yeah, that's to me. Those are all his mainstream albums. I know he released the Michael album, and then he released another album after that. But to me, those are his songs. Those are his records that, he, to me, he produced. I think with his new records, they were like altering other people's voices with his voice, and it was weird, like you know, for that stuff. But let's go ahead and get into the one VHS tape I have, and that is Michael Jackson: The Making of the Thriller video. The making of Michael Jackson's Thriller. Um, I saw this at the exchange. I was like, I gotta have this. I would love if they released a Blu-ray or a 4K for this. You guys already know if you guys watch YouTube. They released a 4K version of the Michael Jackson Thriller video. So I would love if they released this in a Blu-ray or a 4K. I would definitely buy it. Um, so yeah, I had to own this VHS tape. It was only right. So yeah, I got the making of Michael Jackson's Thriller video. Now we're getting into the DVDs. And of course, I had to have some of his live concerts. I got the one where he was live in Japan. Had to have that one. Then I got um, another one, the Michael Jackson number ones. These are like all the music videos um, from Don't Stop To Get Enough all the way to You Rock My World. Um, it don't have the ghost music video, which I'm very upset. I'm guessing someone else owns the rights to um, that video because it's, it's not on this or another one I'm gonna show a little bit later. But um, I had to own this because like I said, I love all his videos, you know? 
Then next we got a like a um, documentary, um, Michael Jackson's Life of a Superstar. Um, I think I got this for my birthday. Then we got another one. We got the Ultimate Thriller, the Michael Jackson collection. It comes with Michael Jackson's history, the King of Pop at the beginning. Then we got Michael Jackson, Life of a Superstar again, the Triumph. Then we got What Killed the King of Pop. Um, so yeah, like I said, I still remember the day when he passed away. Um, you know, I, I was, of course, I cried. Of course, um, I cried several times, but it is what it is. Then we got Michael Jackson live in. Bucharest. I'm, I'm, I'm probably saying that terribly wrong, but it's the Dangerous Tour. If you guys have not seen this concert, it is fucking dope. It is so fire. Oh my god, I watched this repeatedly. I used to literally just watch it, like just to watch it. It, it is so fire. If you guys have not checked this out, definitely check it out. It's fire. Then we got Michael Jackson, this is it. This is the two, uh, limited edition two disc DVD. I kept this because it has the two disc uh, version. I don't know if the Blu-ray have have these special features, but um, I kept it for that reason because it's a, it's a different case and it's two disc, you know. And also, I'm a Michael Jackson fan, so of course I kept it. Um, let's go ahead and get it to another DVD. Of course, that is Michael Jackson's Visions. Now, this has every single music video that he's ever done besides Ghost. Like the full length version. If you guys have not seen Michael Jackson's Ghost, it's like a 38 minute long video of these, you know, this town going to Michael Jackson's mansion. I guess he's like a ghost and he's, you know, he's entertaining the kids and they're tired of it. They're tired of him scaring all these kids. And he's like, okay, I'm going to put give, give you guys a show and scare the living shit out of you guys. And it's, it's a dope ass music video. If you guys did not check it out, definitely check it out. Also, I love this. It's like a lenticular where him doing the moves on it from each video. Definitely, uh, if you guys are Michael Jackson fan, definitely buy this. It is so dope. I love that it's like in a Blu-ray case. I kind I put it with my Blu-rays to kind of cheat, but just because of the size of the case. I would love this was Blu-ray, but, you know, it is what it is. Then we have Michael Jackson, This Is It. I was going to review this for this date, but I said, no, forget it. I'm going to just show everything I own in my collection. But, um, yeah, so this was basically behind the scenes of him doing his This Is It tour. He was going to do, like, a 50 like show tour for his like last hoorah i remember he announced this i was like oh my god i'm too young to even go to this thing and um he was you know this is basically all the um you know behind the scenes of how the show was gonna go and this is basically the last thing we've see we will see of michael jackson and i remember going to the theater with this i wanted to jump in the aisle and do all the dance moves and yeah, I cried a little bit in the theater as well. It was just, it was, it was sad. It was sad watching this, knowing, like, you could tell, regards him doing all this stuff on stage, it was something wrong. He was sick or something. But, yeah, I, I love this. Of course, I love this. I had to own it. Sony right. And last of the Blu-rays and DVDs and stuff, we got Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Now, the story with this movie, I wanted to own this so bad, but... The problem is that it is region locked. I didn't even see that it will, if it was region locked. I just saw it on Blu-ray and I was like, I gotta buy this. And I didn't even check to see whether or not it was region locked. And um, yeah, it's region locked. I can't watch it. So I'm kind of like stuck with this movie and I can't watch it. I, gotta, I own it for collector purposes. So if anyone can find a actual region free version or a US version, please uh, hit me up and let me know. Cause um I really I really do enjoy Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Um obviously it's like just a, another collage of his videos. It got the Leave Me Alone video. It's got the obviously Smooth Criminal is like uh you know the main focus of this thing. Um and I love it. So yeah, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker as well. And the final thing I own, well not the final thing actually I lied. Um let me just show this right now. Of course I had you guys see it in the background. I had to have the Michael Jackson's Thriller vinyl. It has not been opened. It's still in the plastic um my goal is to own all the vinyls i want to have all his vinyls um i just haven't went out and bought, bought them yet but this is the one i wanted to own um because like i said it's my favorite michael jackson album of all time so yeah had to own the vinyl for that and the final thing i got in my collection that's michael jackson related and of course that is michael jackson all the songs and the story behind every track shout out to my fiance for getting me this um, she knows I'm a huge Michael Jackson fan. It's basically a story of every single song that Michael Jackson has done and just, you know, the meaning behind it. And, um, this book is so dope. I've skimmed through it. I haven't read the entire thing and, um, I'm very happy to have it in my collection. So yeah, um, that's the end of my Michael Jackson collection. 
And that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoy videos like this, please hit that like button. Please subscribe for more. More videos will be coming in the near future. I hope you guys are ready for that as well. And I am on this one, you guys. Peace out.